is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled, and I still don't know why. But Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Sophie canoodling. But what does that even mean? Restraining Order Lucas said, Sophie once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Sophie, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense, and I would never hurt Sophie. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed... Murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky, or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Just my 
shit luck, I guess. Oh, hard life, isn't it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Safi. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. <sighs> Come on. If I 
can just... Fuck! Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's order? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. I know Sophie would have something poetic to say about this. If only... Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? Diamond knows where I am, and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Safi is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. I shouldn't leave yet.
Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's try this again. Psychic storm. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. When you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? I know it sounds like it must have been amazing. But Moses... The things I caused to happen. Just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past, 
Safi mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thayet's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You? Want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to...
could have saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Old school. Nice. More music I'm not cool enough to know. One of those Abraxas roses for Sophie. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then.
No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Sophie get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid. He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately... I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... It's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that... Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see.
Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Before Safi died. If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In chairs? Like a bunch of squares? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna... Try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Did Safi tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Safia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled. Because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Of course, I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. 
shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport. Are you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? <laughs> sure. What are you doing on campus? Just... Going on a coffee run? But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean... I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. Sky's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. The art department really pushes for self-expression in every medium. I like that about Caledon. Oh, wow. These are, uh, extremely creepy. Sorry. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie? Reggie Kagan? Business major Reggie? Crap. Wrong Loretta, Max. You know what? Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. Professors sitting on the table? Fuck. This doesn't look so great for Gwen.
Wait, Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? And then she didn't. Dang, Sophie must be a grading machine. The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Safi bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. Changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing. For both her and Vin. Say cheese, little guy. the looks of this guy. Too... grim reapy. Looking for gigs out on the west coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin. I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Crush on Lucas? Really? Things can't be that bad, can they? Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case... I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me, but... Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Gahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Huh. 
Looks like somebody had their last stand. Why is Yasmin talking about... Whoa, Diamond was working on a documentary about Moses. I wonder why she never went through with it. That was not dirt on Vin. I'm sorry, Diamond. I didn't think this is what I'd find. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Lucas must be really grateful if he deigns to be this night. Can you let a man make a stale cup of coffee in peace? No. Because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. You told people she had mental health issues, but that wasn't the whole story, was it? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? After Maria died, 
Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give me the job as her assistant. Holy... Dino, maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and it clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> Shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're gonna get one. I grew up without any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, you promised me a stable respectable job of health insurance and I took it and I cared about Maya and it was a horrible thing to do and I've regretted it ever since then that's I don't have to bring that up in the debate there's not gonna be a debate I'm dropping out of the race you're just gonna let me be the head of a practice like that Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. No what happened to her son? They sent him. And I thought my powers were a burden before. Oh shit. Do I have to go to Abraxas meetings now? This is why I never did extracurriculars. That's not what her text said earlier. It was about Alderman's investigation. What the hell is going on? I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know.
The thing about Gwen selling hard drugs? That wasn't her. She was framed. Max, I get that you like Dr. Hunter. We all do, but there's video evidence. I saw the footage. Gwen smiles at the camera. Like she wanted to get caught. I'm not going to ask how you got your hands on confidential material from an official school investigation. Good, because I'm not telling you. All right, so was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. Are you familiar with Araucaria forests? They're all over southern Chile. I'm not. They look beautiful, though. Well, next time the wanderlust hits you. I don't recognize the name. Oh, that. A fan sent it to me. He's quite famous, actually. Do you follow much football? Uh, not really. Aw, cute. <laughs> My son gave that to me a few years ago. I just dug it out of storage. Looks like someone had a party foul. What? Oh, it's just coffee. Uh, I'm a little preoccupied. What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? A pen so fancy I'd be nervous to write with it. Looks like Lucas has been having some late nights. It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. You don't have to thank me. It was none of my business. Shouldn't have been looking through your stuff in the first place. I don't disagree, but no harm done. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, 
No worries. It's an incredible feeling. Getting chosen for the big screen. About time, right? <laughs> uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? I don't really know much about her, but I heard she was your student. I'm just curious is all. What happened to Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid you'll have to whet your curiosity somewhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here either. Isn't cooperative. Try the other one, Max. No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. Alright, let's see what I can find about Maya. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in you. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in his timeline? That's a lot of junk, but maybe what I need is somewhere in there. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Yasmin did one of these? Um, oh. That could definitely be Maya Okada. Maybe he reads it for the articles. Whoa, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. 
Of course, Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. I didn't realize... These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. Don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. Guess normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit, it's the same. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Safi, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> Yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while.
I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Joyce still treats me like her second daughter. Even after... everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. So, any idea what you're gonna do? Do? You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. Want to swap places? Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? <laughs> you cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. Old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? <sighs> Wake. Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom, but then I realize I'm still falling. <laughs> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. 
We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and pass it back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, Shaka Bra. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> Probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I'll only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer, is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. Happened so fast, nobody has time to catch her. <sighs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she. Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one half-smoked blunt, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Horse show is gonna be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't make things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that, about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? 
Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Oh? Good to know. Because I can be vicious. <sighs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um, sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you... Kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to Break me? <laughs> Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, uh, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I I have to get back to it. Um. Just pretend like I'm not even here. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or 
However that saying goes. <laughs> That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. I can't believe we got out of that. Fucking crazy. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, well, that's all. Um, I hope... just... take care. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? <sighs> Help yourself. Day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Tuffy. Tuffy used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Tuffy was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. There's been a lot going on. And... It's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Eventually. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up 
working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like... I don't know... an alien? Like... The shit that person cared about is so... worthless. You can't even remember... being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401 k And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. So, you hitting that? What? No. I mean, we were talking. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's... kind of whack? She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh-huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? Let's just say, I was a little disappointed when I found out she had a wife. You never know. Her wife could be down too. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or... Pass. Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them, just... Just... Uh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yasmin. Oh, now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I am incredibly unshocked. Yeah? Yeah. Fine. My turn again. And see, who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. 
Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Whatever, I'm drunk. Wow. Oh, damn. Good answer. Thanks, Vin. Oh. I really... Just thanks. Do you have to go? <laughs> Would you be willing to believe I need to go save the world? Not as a general rule. But who knows with you, Max Caulfield? Take it easy, Max. I better cross back over in case Safi is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Just one for the road. Sorry to kiss and run, Ben. Oh, damn. Reggie's gone. I hope he's doing okay. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? Max, Moses, I must bid you adieu. Make good choices, or you know, don't. What the? Looking for these? Really, Max? Most designated drivers at least give you a ride. No ride. You're staying here tonight. <laughs> but mom! Only intruder in that world is Sophie. I wish she was here right now. Sophie. 
first Chloe, and now Safi. It feels like everywhere I go, somebody gets hurt. Still here. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Shit is right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? Thank <laughs> you. 
stop. For fuck's sake, just stop. All right. You caught me. Now what? Now what? Are you here to help me with Sophie? Sophie? God, Max, you're standing here looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Sophie. I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room? About Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. That's not true. I'm trying to help Sophie. Of course you were. God, I'm so sick of people trying to help. Stop, please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh. Super Max? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. 